Hi everyone and welcome to the most beautiful oh. racetrack oh. in the world, the Nürburgring. And today it's hosting the most beautiful racing series in the world, the Nürburgring Endurance Championship, the VLM. But why is it so beautiful? Well, if you cannot figure it out for yourself already by now, look, the craziest cars are out here. The Porsche CT3s, the factory supported cars, Porsche, Audi, but also more basic. Look, we have here a Volkswagen Sirocco, with a M3 E92 next to it, which is something more attainable. Today I'm gonna show you what makes it for me, again, most beautiful race series in the world, because although all the cameras are pointing towards those big boys, the factory teams, the craziest, the fastest, the fastest, but I'm pretty sure most of you want to see something more more that you can relate to, something more entry-level teams. So let's have a look at those. Well, I can show you a gazillion of those epic cars and keep on talking and talking, but to show you the true beauty of VLAN and uh, show you why it's so amazing, I think the best way would be to ask an insider. And here is my friend Daniel. Hello. Hi, nice being you. Thank you for having me here and letting me bother you with all those questions while you are working. So, what do you do inside the team, actually? Oh, yeah. We are three mechanics in the team. Um, One of the two um, are working on the engine from the car. Um, I fill up the tank yeah. with the other mechanic and yeah, the other booths guys um, change the tires. But what I heard, the most beautiful part of your team is actually that you are just family members and friends. Yeah. So, right. And you are competing on the same field together with the huge big dogs like uh, Porsche, Audi, who are, have millions funding them, but you are basically, you're not a paid mechanic, you're no. just doing it for fun. For fun, yeah. Yeah, this is... I'm a I'm friend of the family and um, we are, have a long friendship and for four years we say, okay, we build a car and try VLN. Yeah, so you've been doing this, for well, the, the team has been existing for four years? Yes. And uh, you're running an SP3 class? Yeah, with two cars. With, with two cars, um, yes. The special class, it's um, till two liters. Yeah. Um, and in the SP class, we can uh, change many things on the engine, um, in the interior and something. And in the V class, we drive the stock engine. Mm -hmm. And um, the white and something um, in the V class, you can't change nothing. And SP3 uh, means special free, yeah. and then yeah. we can uh, take some modification on the cars, yeah. make it uh, faster, yeah. and something. Yeah, and you're all running at the same time with all the other cars yes. as well, because we're a different class. How long have you been doing it yourself, like being the uh, helping mechanic? Um, mechanic, I'm, yeah, since four years. Okay. I started in the team, like a little mechanic. I'm uh, working a other job. But uh, mechanic, I yeah, I work for four years for this yeah. team and yeah. yeah. And what are we doing today? We are preparing the cars um, with the cup car. We going to the technicals in uh, a later moment and yeah, nothing. Yeah. Maybe drink one or two beer. That's a typical racing yes. uh, spirit. I heard sometimes that the the beer bills are higher than the tire bills as well. I can't say nothing about it. <laughs> well. You didn't hear anything here. What are your current standings within the championship? Mm, our driver Tobias is at the moment, I think, around place 14. Okay. In the, in the, in the whole um, championship. Yeah. And we are on the second place uh, in the class SP3. Oh, really? Yeah. No, but it's, uh, it's actually very, very cool that you can, uh, again, like be a top three, currently uh, number two, maybe even later number one, who knows? With just uh, family and friends. Yeah. 
Um, Fun yeah. sport. Yeah, absolutely. That's very cool. And the truck that you said you, uh, you're looking forward to bring the car safely back into the truck, you said that's also a pretty special thing that you built yourself? Yeah, we built it uh, in the winter month. And um, going on the first race, it was 24 hour race this year. Yeah. Um, we bought this trailer completely burning down. Yeah. And in the winter, we built it back to the roads. That's very cool. So now you have something, something definitely to be proud of. Yeah. If someone wants to race with you as a like a paid driver, is it possible to join your team? Uh, it's or heavy, is it mostly? It's heavy. Mostly, that's a, that's a problem with endurance and something. Normally, um, we drive with the family. Yeah. On the on the grandpa drives the father and the girlfriend from the other driver. Okay. And on the cup car, there drives uh, the two brothers. Yeah. Yeah, that's, it's only for that, the family. Yeah, basically that. Well, I'll let you do your job with the yeah. uh, with the window, and then I'll talk to you in a bit at the technical commission. Yeah. Good. Thank, Thank you very much. So since Daniel couldn't tell us more about technical details of the car, you can okay. tell us a bit more. Uh, what are the main modifications that you've done to the car? We have to distinguish between the two because uh, one of them it's a cup car. Yeah. It's uh, directly from the from the OEM. It comes. Ah, it's that, that as you a buy as a cup yeah, car. Yes. You can buy it. And the other one, it was a former former stock. Yeah. Car which you can normally buy for the for the street. And uh, both of them, they have to have the, the safety features, yeah. like the roll cage. Yeah. You have to have. You have to have uh, the harnesses and uh, the other seat. One of the most important things is that you have to have a fire extinguisher. Yeah. And uh, circuit breakout for for the power supply. Yeah. From from the outside. Yeah. And one of the most imp even important ones is uh, the the hood. Yeah. Closure yeah, things yeah. they have to the hood locks. Yes, they, yeah. they, the the marshals they have to open them from outside okay. if there's any crash or yeah. serious yeah, uh, yeah. thing. Yeah. So well, what have you done to that? Is, is it basically uh, only remap? Um, yeah, basically both of the the, the, the stock car it has a, a remap the uh, ECU engine mm -hmm. ECU. Yeah. Um, the cup car it has a, a sealed engine ECU. You, yeah. can, you can't do anything okay. uh, about this one. Um, there are some you, you can buy the right ones, let's say like this. Mm. And um, yeah, one of the main things we just updated the, the stock one to um, the setup of the, the cup car. So it's okay. the exhaust manifold, for example, yeah. or the, the intake manifold. Yeah. It's just that these are the same ones. Yeah. Uh, the intake manifold, it's a, it's a carbon fiber one. Yeah. And uh, but the, the engine itself, it's it's stock. Yeah, almost. So yeah, okay. The the main difference between the two is that uh, the cup racer it has a sequential gearbox, mm -hmm. and it's more reliable. Yeah. It has less friction. Yeah. You have more power at the wheels. Yeah. And this is the main problem of the stock car. Okay. So speaking of the budgets, uh, well, this is obviously a cup car that you can just buy yeah. from the factory. What's the cost of that roughly? Uh, this one, the, yeah. the I think. As you could buy it, uh, the new one, 35,000. It's okay. And uh, what's the running cost to do a year of VLN with uh, it? It's hard to say. Maybe it's it's the lowest of all cars here, I would yeah, say. Yeah. So it's uh, cheap. I would say this one, the cup racer, like it is just the running cost. Maybe 50 to 70,000 a year. 15 to 17 per year. Yeah. If you you drive, I presume, all the nine VLNs, yeah. roughly. Yeah. And then you're talking about yeah, 2,000 per race. Uh, maybe a little bit more. Yeah. So trust but, the running cost. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Uh, I mean, 2,000 per race for running costs, and then the entry fee, yes. the food, and everything. Yeah. So let's say three and a half maybe, per yeah, race. That's actually very, about very, that. very good, because if you go even up to V6 classes. There, the costs are roughly ten thousand already yeah, it per race. Expensive. It gets very expensive. Yeah. And then this car, obviously, uh, something more people can relate to because they can buy this yeah. off the Mobility or even yes. off eBay and yeah. convert it and sell. How much was the conversion cost? I would say fifty thousand. Fifty thousand conversion. Yes. Yeah. So basically, you can see you can choose either you buy something from the factory or you get something from the street. 
get a bunch of friends and family together like you are and start working over winter, build a car. And again, the end result is probably as expensive as a cup car, roughly, uh, roughly yeah. 30,000 yeah. euro ish. Yeah. And then start racing, which is pretty Ooh. awesome, I would say. Yeah, the, 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 because again, this is why we're making this particular video because many of my subscribers, many of you guys ask to show uh, the entry level teams because unfortunately many people show that well, all the TV channels at VLN they show only the big guys yeah. and everyone yeah. thinks that's only this but no you can grab a bunch of people together save up money and start racing this is pretty cool well thank you for this general but uh, very informative introduction yeah, no problem. I wish you lots of luck with the uh, technical mission I'll see you tomorrow morning where we're gonna follow the race and see how the actual race looks like yeah perfect thank you, thank you. <laughs> Well, there you have it. General introduction to the VLN and the racing team, the five speed racing that we're going to follow tomorrow. I'm going to leave them, prepare their car for the technical commission and tomorrow's race and probably get some dinner myself because all that racing is making me hungry. But no, on a serious note, I hope you guys enjoyed today's general introduction and tomorrow a lot more, more hardcore action because tomorrow there's going to be a lot at stake. We, you're going to see also all the professional GT3 cars, also five-speed racing, and a lot more fighting for the championship of being the toughest team around the Nürburgring.